when I moved to Texas, I didn't have any friends, and so I, the kids I went to school, the, my classmates that were with me, uh, we would, you know, try to find friends, and so one of the one of the boys was a Baptist, and he decided to go to a particular church, and I said, well, if if there are girls there, I'll go too, and so I went to that church and was kind of looking for some people to hang out with, and that's where I met Mom. I met Mom in Northside Baptist Church in Arlington, Texas, in 1970, and so, you know, I found a good church girl, and she's been fantastic all, all our lives, and I just thank God for her so much, and, you know, she saw something in me that appealed to her, and I, we've all we treated each other just great the whole time we've been married. Because I was working uh, in the plant in Texas, where where Mom was in the same city, and was going to school in Flint, Michigan, uh, I was only in Texas half the time, every other six weeks. So when when I had to go back to school, Mom and I were. We were still still considered ourselves dating. We were steady at that point, and you know, we missed each other a lot. And so we would write letters every day. And so we we found those letters, and you know it was just a bunch of like n nothing happened, you know, type of situation. And so every now and then I get to call her. Uh, it was expensive to call back then. There weren't cell phones, and so you had to call on your home phone line, and the phone companies charged a lot for long distance at that time, you know, comparatively speaking. So we, you know, we, we just got to talk about maybe once a week, but we wrote letters every day, and it was our way of staying connected. You know, she was going to school in Arlington, I was going to school in Michigan. And when I got back from Michigan, I would often help her with her homework. You know, being the, you know, the student I was, so it was kind of easy for me to pick up on whatever class she had. So, and then we just, some of the things we did there, we played putt-putt, because that's one of the things that some of the kids in, in the college group did together. Um, there were some Putt Putt golf courses around. It was actually a name of the course is Putt Putt Miniature Golf. So those are some of the things we did when we were there. We'd go to movies and eat donuts. Back then we were really skinny and we could eat whatever we wanted without gaining any weight. And it was, we just enjoyed being with each other. We got married in December 18th, 1971. And the reason we got married in December is because my school schedule was such that I only had a break in December and then in August. And we'd been apart from one another and we decided that we decided to get married in earlier in the year of 1971. And so the December break was the only one that we could do in, until, until August of 1972, so we decided to do it in December. So we actually got married in Kansas City because her parents uh, had to go to Florida because her sister was getting married at the same time. Her sister had a wedding date five days after ours in Florida, and they decided to go to her sister's wedding, so my parents gave me a wedding, gave us a wedding in Kansas City. That's how we got married. So it turned out to be a great ceremony and great service and all that. And it was in the Catholic Church because that's what my parents were going to at that time, even though we've been. Um, Baptist more or less since that time. So, how old were you when you got married? We were 20, both of us. Cuz we were bo both born in 1951. 
because we were going back and forth to school between Texas and Michigan, we had to find apartments that would rent to us for six weeks at a time. That was my school schedule. So we rented a, an old motel building in Arlington and an old the upstairs of an old house in Flint, Michigan, where, where I went to school. So that's what we would do is we'd drive back and forth every six weeks. Put a lot of miles on a car and had to pack and unpack every six weeks. It's quite a deal. So. And how long did that last? That lasted, we got married in 1971 and I graduated in 1973. So it lasted about 18 months. Of moving every six weeks? Yeah. Always between Arlington and Flint? Yeah. When I was in Arlington, I was actually working in, in the plant that was there, and I made enough money to pay for our school and our living expenses. And so that was a real blessing. I basically had uh, a scholarship, even though I had to work for the money that, that we had. Because we were going to school, we didn't think we could have kids quite that quick, and so we, we decided to to wait until I was graduated from school. The whole year of 1974 I spent in Purdue University. Jim had a fellowship program at that time and I'd made good enough grades in order to earn a master's fellowship. And so I went to school for business, a master's in business at Purdue. And while we were there we decided, okay, so we're going to be in a position to go ahead and be able to start a family. In 1973, we started trying to have Stephen. We moved back to Texas. Patty was pregnant, and we came back to Texas. And, and he was he was born in December of 1974.